Hi, I'm Stephen with AlbertaIrvingGarden.ca. Today's episode, we're going to continue the exploration of our garden soil series. If you have missed any episodes in this series, click here to view the playlist. In order to get a complete understanding of our relationship between the garden soil and our plants, we need to step back in time. It's important to understand what forms Earth's soils. Let's step back 400 million years into Earth's history. Soil formation, pedogenesis, is driven by physical, chemical, biological, and anthropogenic, or in other words, human-caused interactions, with organic and inorganic mediums. Soil formation began some 400 million years ago in the Devonian period. Before that time, there was very little oxygen in the atmosphere and no organic material on land. Around that time, oxygen began to appear in significant quantities as a result of the development of photosynthetic processes in organisms. Around the same time, there's evidence to suggest land was being colonized by the first organisms. Fast forward 400 million years, and we have an amazingly complex terrestrial ecosystem, including our gardens. As far back as the human records go, people have been studying soil science. This is because, for the most part, our civilizations depend heavily on food from farms and foraging. For the last 400 million years, soils have been formed largely by parent material, climate, temperature, weather changes, topography, and time. The parent material is the unconsolidated material that forms the base of the soil typically weathered from solid types of rock by either physical or chemical processes. This material is either in the material that the soil sits on or has been transported by wind, water, glaciers, or gravity. Interestingly, because of the diversity of the parent material that is transported, it is common for the soil to be more fertile than their in-place counterparts. Climate is usually the biggest factor in soil formation. Changes in temperature and water regimes drive both physical and chemical weathering of parent materials and soils. Temperature influences soils by the change caused by daily and seasonal fluctuations. Large shifts in the temperature change the soil's water regime, either stimulating biological activity or inhibiting it. Water is involved in most reactions in soil as it moves through, interacts with, and leaves the soil. Organisms, or the biota, play an important role in soil formation and are made up of vegetation, animals, bacteria, and fungi. Plants, for instance, make up most of the organic material found in soils and can influence weathering processes. Finally, we get to time, which ultimately allows the earlier mentioned factors, for lack of a better word, time to work. All of these factors combine to form the basics that plant life needs to grow. The soil holds organic material, water, and gases, allowing the plant to have a medium to grow in that provides water, minerals, and nutrients to allow for the photosynthetic growth. Next time, we're going to talk about the nitrogen cycle and how much of a key role it takes in your garden. I would like to send a special thanks to Cole Photography. Click here to check out more. Thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate your spending time with me today. I hope you have a great day.